both ends of the spectrum. Pollster Frank Lunch is here to give us a closer look. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. You know, we've already done about 30 of these sessions across the country, and I've brought three ads for you today okay. that illustrate good and bad. All the right. first one is the Democratic gubernatorial candidate from Florida, uh, Alex Sink. And what shocks me about this ad, if you watch the red and green lines, red represents Republican, green represents Democrat, is that this ad, she's a Democrat, does even better among Republicans because it's so direct, it is so anti politician, anti lobbyist, and it's just an awesome example of ads that work. Let's take a look. I've seen just enough of state government to know that the partisanship and special interests are even worse than you think. And I'm fed up with it. Partisanship, I've got no patience for it. Special interests, nothing special about them to me. My only interests are a stronger economy, an accountable state government, and being nobody's governor but yours. Well, the red line just went through the roof. Yes, and she's a Democratic candidate. Does she's she say in the ad she's a Democrat? Never. <laughs> the Republicans don't know this. She's anti-lobbyist, anti-incumbent, anti-the system, and she looks at, straight at the camera, which is really powerful. Now, let me give you an example of what doesn't work. It's called the puppet ad, okay. and it's making fun of Congressman John Bocheri of Ohio, and it suggests that he's Nancy Pelosi's puppet. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem. In tough times, we don't want jokes. We don't want humor. We want the facts. This is an ad that doesn't work. Is Congressman John Bocieri Nancy Pelosi's puppet? John Bocieri voted to burden our children with trillions of dollars of government debt, just like Nancy Pelosi told him. He voted for the health care bill that most Americans don't want, just like Nancy Pelosi told him. He voted for the cap and tax energy bill, just like Nancy Pelosi told him. That's right. Nancy Pelosi pulls the strings on John Bocieri. This November, vote for a candidate who works for Northeastern Ohio, not Nancy Pelosi. So why didn't that work? Because it was making fun of something that's really serious. And while Nancy Pelosi is disliked by a majority of Americans, they would still they still dislike Washington even more. They dislike the political system even more. So here is the same race, the same type of ad, but this time it's against Washington. In the last one, the Democratic line came up only as high as 19. This one works with all voters. Let's take a look. Many things are wrong in Washington. Washington won't balance the budget. Washington took three months to stop an oil leak. Washington won't secure our borders. Washington has grown too big, inefficient, and out of control. Washington won't fix our problems, and John Bocheri is making them worse. Bocheri voted for the cap-and-trade energy tax that could send over 100,000 Ohio jobs overseas. How can we fix government when Congressman Bocheri keeps making things worse? See, this is the problem with the Democratic situation right now. They represent Washington. They control the White House. They control both houses of Congress by overwhelming majorities. And so, therefore, they represent Washington. We don't like Washington. We don't like Wall Street. We don't like what's happening right now. And that campaign, that, that ad is so anti the status quo right. that it works. I understand. Okay, so you're just talking about some ads. You're about to do another dial session here in New York City, aren't you? We're doing one tomorrow night live on the Hannity Show. I'm going to talk about the mosque, and I've already seen the recruit. And I'm actually a little bit nervous because these sessions have become so angry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It gives people the chance to be heard. But if you've got these politicians who won't come and do town hall meetings, right. they won't face the voters, they'll only do those ads. Then any time they get a chance to be heard, it's time. It's wow. time, and they won't hold back. Get all the earplugs. All right, Frank Lunds, we'll look forward to that. Thanks, we'll see so you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Be well. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Coming on the show, on the, the uh, leader of Hamas.